Hi guys, in today's video we'll be calculating Phi MSX um, using an example of a 310UB32. So my first tip to you all is to draw the beam. It is the most important part just to visualize what is happening and label it with the correct dimensions from the one steel tables. So what we have here is um, the width of the flange, the thickness of the flange, the width, oh, sorry, the thickness of the web, and then the depth. And using that, we can find this, all this knowledge, we can find this. And then also the most important um, feature is the centroid. So finding the centroid of this, so dividing the depth by two to get 149 and that distance to the bottom of this flange. Using all that information, what we do is we find the IX values, which is BH cubed on 12 plus AY squared. Now with that, what we try and do is, um, I've separated into zones to make it clear for you guys. So we have one, one. So I've timed this by two because these two are identical. And um, this is zone sort of shape two, if you want to call it. And that's just using this BH cubed on 12. So this first part here is BH cubed on 12. And then later here, I have AY squared. Sorry, yep, AY squared here. Sorry, that's just to give it a holistic picture. Um, and what we find, just if you plugged in all these values for the IX, is it it's roughly 60.41 times 10 to the power of six. Now, one thing I wanna explain is it's different to one steel because they consider the root radius, oh, I should say four, <laughs> uh, for a fillet. Um, that's not something we've considered here. So when I say that, what I mean is they consider this shape here.